<clears throat> okay, so just had uh, hold on. We just had fiber installed. So I am currently stress testing to see how the quality is and yeah <laughs> I am super excited okay I'm pretty sure I thought there was options for streaming. Uh, display chat, yes. Display activity, yes. Position top left. So top right. Neat. Okay, there we go. Uh, from what I am seeing, seems to be looking pretty good. Uh, what is it? Seven twenty. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, doesn't it's not choppy as what it originally looked like from what I'm seeing on my phone. Uh, what was the wrong button again? Okay. Good, 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 good. I'm so excited. I'll probably uh, probably test out either 60 FPS at 720 or even uh, try it out at 1080p. I am whoo. A little bit jittery. <laughs> Whew. All right, and this will give me a higher jump. Oh, I thought I grabbed all the shinies in here. I guess not. Uh, I gotta waste that. Damn it. Good, 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 good. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, there's a thing buried over here. I don't think it's saved that I got it. Ooh, pretty high double jump. He was working another late night, and my friends were over saying how bored they were, and how they had come all the way out to my house for nothing. One of them mentioned how that old, ugly beyond belief truck was still in the garage, and how we should take it for a spin. I was only 15, so I kind of fought it for a while. The next thing I knew, we were careening around the mountain path, rocks spitting onto the sides of the cliff, while my dad's cringeworthy bluegrass blared out the speakers. I drove while my friends were in the back of that yellow and purple truck, throwing beer bottles and trash at anything remotely interesting. Felt like I was soaring in the air with borrowed wings. But all good things have endings. A cop outside of Eagle River pulled us over after he saw us in a bottle rocket into someone's yard. 
what followed was a long night of talking to disappointed adults and feeling smaller than ever. There we go. So, as of uh, this stream, uh, the city area of uh, has experienced really bad winds. A convenience store's roof has been ripped off, leading to burst pipes and having uh, the sprinkler water freeze over and actually trap two cars in the, in the parking lot. And the wall of a KFC and A&W got ripped off. And there's stories of a whole bunch of um, people's powers, people's power being out and going a few days without electricity or heat and having to spend the night in their car or going to another family's house that isn't being uh, tormented by winds or power outages. And ooh, it's not a good time to be in the city, in the town, in the city. Not a good time. I believe my younger brother said that they were didn't have power for a while and that if things got worse they'd be going to my to my sisters if it got really really bad. Last I heard is that there was even if he focused my brother could see his breath. Yeah, that wasn't good. Dig up over there. Okay, 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 okay. How do I climb up there and use the double jump up there? Possibly. After he drove me home from the police station, I blew up at him, saying how I never wanted to be like him, how I was going to be someone and leave that hick icebox for good. He just looked forward at the road with tired eyes. I took out that bluegrass tape from the cassette deck and chucked it out the window. In my sage teenage wisdom, I thought I had proved the ultimate point, but my dad had a different idea. He slammed the brakes slowly bowed his head while gripping the steering wheel and finally looked at me. All he said, like it was a polite request, was, make this right. I sat there in silence, fuming, but I eventually got out and combed every square inch of the woods, muttering profanity after profanity. I found it thirty minutes later, near a small waterfall off the road. I went back to the truck, put the wet tape back in, and sure enough it worked. We didn't speak another word to each other the rest of the night. Wow, I knew you were a crazy teenager, but... It's hard to believe, isn't it? it surprises me too. 
It's like I didn't really know who that kid was back then. I bet my dad thought the same thing over and over. It's almost like he was saying, make this right to himself more than to me. I wonder if I have that, these two jump power-ups, that if I could have super double jump maybe, and I can get up to that ledge. We're going to find out. Both of them, hopefully. Ooh, I can. Nice, nice, nice. Here we go. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> that even did anything. Like, what's the point of having it there? I really doubt that there's a secret item even in there anyway. Okay, now hopefully we can get there with this. Three? That's right, there is three. I'm dumb. Mm, oh, excuse me. Okay, so what I can do, get the one up there, get this one again, and then get the one underneath the rock. Okay, so each butterfly upgrade each butterfly power-up does increase your jump height. Okay. Just one. Interesting. I just wish you could run faster. This is a bit... quite annoying actually. There we go. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> nice! Excellent. Is there anything up here to dig up? This is probably the truck. Hmm. All right. Let's collect those things again and make my way up over there. Oop! I'm sorry. I was looking at the stream. From what I'm seeing, is that it's it looks okay. Doesn't look too bad. It definitely looks a lot better than, as I mentioned in the previous stream, where it was looking pretty choppy. Even when I was using, trying to test it on my uh, on my personal hotspot, because I know that was just slightly better than our Wi-Fi. But now that we got fiber, I I believe it said that I we had. 11 megabits upload per second. My friends would laugh about that night and talk about how crazy it was. And I laughed along, pretending it didn't bother me. But it did. 
I imagined my friends growing old in the bush, unable to find that thrill in those godforsaken ice fields. It's like those mountains were a literal wall, keeping me from leaving, where all I would have to look forward to are lumber yards and evening beers. I had to climb over. That was my only goal for a long time. <laughs> that was close. Ooh. No, uh, this area is basically as far as I've ever gotten in this game before. I previously did like one recording of the first area like a y few years ago. And that was like it. If there was some way I could take my love of drawing and turn it into a way of escape, nothing would make me happier. I wanted to create instead of tearing trees down. I wanted to move to the lower 48, not because I hated it there in Alaska, but I hated the idea of it. It's like all of that spite inside me had created this monster which followed me around my whole teenage years. I put so much energy into doing what others didn't expect of me. Why did I do that? There's one fact you're forgetting, though. If you didn't have that fire in you, we probably would have never met. You're absolutely right. Maybe the destination is all that matters in the end. But then why am I awake? Why am I seeing this fox go on her journey? And why can't I stop thinking about my dad? Hmm. Okay. I wonder if I'm gonna get a speed upgrade here. This is a pretty big field. <laughs> Doubt any of you would want to even like just sit around. See, I'm Mama Fox look for her babies and made a version of Alaska. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> oh. Where are we now? This doesn't look like Alaska. I've never seen plants look like that up here. Oh, there's something over there. Some shinies to collect. I thought there's a shiny moving. <laughs> Weird. Okay, so Eagle River is a few a few miles before the city of Anchorage. And it's basically like an in-between town, I guess, or city. On our property, there were old abandoned pieces of a shed and car long left unused. I used to ask him all the time who those people were that left all this junk. And I'm sure he got so tired of hearing it that he made up some elaborate stories how a brown bear ate them and haunted the woods afterwards. What's funny is I think it made those people seem more real. Growing up thinking they were still hanging out like they couldn't say goodbye. I used to tell my friends how I could swear I saw spirits move near the water, and that always freaked them out. I guess it didn't bother me, because the way I saw it, they were normal people with old cars and sheds, just trying to figure out how to survive and be happy in the middle of nowhere. It was a cool thought that they didn't want to leave, but, you know, I was a weird kid. Well, 
You had good company since those ghosts like living in a place where they were brutally devoured. <laughs> Yeah, there, there are places where you can see old, old, decrepit, um, like, cabins out in the distance or even by the road where old previous natives used to live and... Some of them are even like, uh, uh, I think they're just considered like mud huts, where they're kind of built into, quote unquote, into the ground. I don't think there's a good way up there unless I get those butterfly upgrades or power ups. Oh, right here, never mind. The double jump feels a little bit clunky, it's a little bit slow after the second one. Mm, excuse me. Alright. Double jump mechanic is a little bit weird. supposed to do? Oh, was I supposed to do that right, like, when it went down? Okay. What was that supposed to do? Like a future upgrade? I hope so. Okay, I know I saw another pillar of light over here. Okay. So even those, I guess, whatever those are, spirit stones, I guess we'll call them, have pillars of light, while the memories kind of have like this white smoke look to it. majority of my life I have lived in air and an area where I can always see mountains or forests so I like this type of environment it it's calming for me and um, as I went into uh, Navy boot camp in like 20, uh, late 2012. And I went into, uh, down there. It was flat. Flat as far as I could see. And that, that felt odd to me. It felt barren. Like, I know I've seen that type of terrain in movies before, and I previously lived in Texas, but I don't have much memories of seeing flatlands like that, so it's, it was just really odd, and I had a small sense of, I think it's called agoraphobia? 
uh, fear of um, big places or open spaces. Even the most distant, at the times when I detested him the most, he kept reaching out. For a year straight, he asked me every week when we were going camping. I thought he was just dense. Eventually, to shut him up, I agreed. We carried out the worn lawn chairs from the garage and set up a cinder block campfire at the site we had always used behind the house. We walked down the mountain path, talking in the warm sunshine we only got a couple months of the year. Those three obsidian rocks shimmered alongside the shore, almost like sparklers pressed against a dark window. I'll never forget that wet stone on my feet, or how those massive mountains looked even bigger in the lake's reflection. I felt small, but grateful. As the sun set, my dad found something I hadn't seen for a long time. The tree where I'd made my first carving when I was six. I hadn't even carved it. My dad had helped me, but I still called it my tree. Something about seeing my name there made me open up, and we talked about everything that night in that old camouflage tent. I told him how much I loved sketching and design, and how it would be a dream to study architecture in Seattle. I told him how I didn't get along with my friends much anymore, but that I didn't mind being alone. He told me he was there for me, and he joked that if all he had to do was write my name on a tree to finally get me to talk, he would have left me carved logs with novels on them in front of my room every morning. <laughs> I don't know why it took me that long to realize it, but it was then I knew how much he had sacrificed for me. There we go. <sighs> That's some good family stuff right there. Now I believe, I believe, feel free to correct me, that this is based off of a true story. Like, this is someone's experience that they had, and they use it as a narrative to, uh, for, to help, like, bring narrative into this game. Now, where's the, is that everything in this area? Okay, right there. Now, where's... That one, that one. My dad built a lot of stuff in his free time. If he wasn't watching fly fishing or reading Tom Clancy novels, he was carving something. He made tons of birdhouses. Not that he was into bird watching, but I think he really missed working and adding on to the home. If he couldn't afford the time to build onto our own house, we would have to settle with watching birds move into their little homes. We kept an old mattress in the bed of that ugly yellow truck, so we would drive it deep into the woods and then watch the birds fly into their houses while the sun set. Usually it was accompanied by venison jerky or a cold coke, but not a lot of talking, which is how we both liked it. Mm. You know, recently my dad retired, and he's still super busy even after, even when he had his job, he was still super busy, and now he's still really amazed. Do, 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 do. Anything else out here? Is that... What's this? Boxes? Yep. Mm, computer. Old school computer, dang. Another memory right over there. I know I saw some 
the trophy said that the those shinies are stars, so I'll just call them stars. It's more stars that way. Boombox. Right there. Wait, is that what I saw? No, that's not what I saw. I know I saw stars over here, but I know it's not like these. Over here, anyway. I would really enjoy like a turbo dash or stars. Oh boy, stars. Not my best Nemesis impression. Oh, there it is. I wasn't even expecting to try and get that yet. Do you think this will clear out the bramble? Yep, cleared out the bramble. I can hear it moving. The way forward trophy. And I think I have to go back. I don't see a way around here. Yep. And the perspective on the double jump is really confusing. Because there are sometimes it doesn't look like I'm gonna make it, but then it, the game just proves me wrong. As I said, the the jump feels a little bit floaty and slow. Like you're not landing where you're supposed to, and you're just land gonna land a bit short of it. Excuse me, uh, sorry. Slightly annoying. I'm trying to go to that. Mm that memory I saw earlier. And considering that... That, uh... From my previous departure of the game, it didn't save all the progress that I made, so I'm gonna wait until I enter the next area before I try to do a new new quality test and there's there's the memory all the way over there so I'm not sure if I should try 60 FPS at 720 or 1080 it's this musical keyboard I thought I was pretty sure that the stone was going to be up there. But glad I was wrong. Glad I was wrong. More stars. What can it be now? We were happiest underneath the evergreens. We decided it was time to finally map out the hundreds of acres we lived on just to pass the time during the summer. Meh. He was only free in the evenings, so I would spend the day wasting time on dial-up internet and sketching, and then we would rush into the woods, pen and map in hand, before evening fell. Sometimes, the aurora borealis would cast a cold green glow on the mountainside. 
and we would finish our route underneath a twilight sky. Sometimes I was lonely.
during those summer days, but there was comfort in the routine. A lot of teenagers aren't looking for the daily grind, though. There's nothing wrong with wanting to get out, to leave your childhood home. You wanted to progress, to make something of yourself. Yeah, you're right. That house. I'm sure it's the same as how I left it. But then why does it feel so different? I doubt you're the only adult to have looked back and asked that question. Traitor stood nearby, unfazed, like nothing was wrong. My dad is dead, and he's never coming back, Rachel. I can tell you these stories, but I can never reminisce with him again. He can never hold a grandchild that we'll probably never be able to have. I can never talk to him again, and I'll never be able to say I'm sorry for everything. Thank you.